is here joining us. But uh, we're talking about some cauliflowers this morning, right? Well, colorful cauliflowers. I like that. Matches my, my jacket. Yeah, yeah. Uh, by the way, what do you what do you, what do you get when you cross a uh, a dog with a rose? A dog with a rose. A, a dog rose? Rose a dog? I don't know. You get a you get a cauliflower. Ah. <laughs> That's a good one. That's Two thumbs up for that. That's what we're talking about today. <laughs> a few people are waking up and just now getting Got out, it. I think, right? <laughs> of all the flowers in the garden, I love cauliflower the most. That's what Mark Twain said. Ah. I don't know if it's true or not. <laughs> uh, so anyway, how do we cut this cauliflower? Uh, we, we need to get into this cauliflower. So I need for you to come really close. Uh, we're going to just leave the cellophane on it. And you cut right through the cellophane. That way you oh. don't have to spend your time taking that off. Uh, first, right? Right. So I just kind of, oh, by the way, let me show you something here. See this leaf right there? Mm -hmm. If I slice this leaf just like this, what does it look like to you? Like lettuce. Uh, it looks like, well, I was, well think, oh. I was going for uh, bok choy. Oh, bok choy. Yes, right? it does. You're absolutely bok right. Choy. So you can actually put this right into your into your stir fry. Uh, so cauliflower is 100% edible. And wow. stay right down here, I want to show you something. See this? Uh, we, you might call it the core, but uh, in the produce industry, we actually call that the heart of the cauliflower. Ah. So even the core right here is totally edible. Everything on this cauliflower is totally edible. Now, when you cut this cauliflower, it's muy importante. I got to show you something. When you break off these curds just like that, when you cut through the cauliflower, do not in a million years cut all the way through. You got that? Oh. Please don't cut all Why the way through. Why is that? Let me show you what happens. Uh, when you cut all the way through, here's what happens. I just cut through all of that cell structure right there, right? Uh huh. Now, when you go to steam it or to cook it or to steam it, uh, all of this is going to be slimy. And you wonder why your kids don't like cauliflower, right? Ah. Uh, so what you do, you got to cut halfway down and then break it apart. You see the difference? It broke right around the natural cell structure of that curd Got it. instead of cutting through the curd. This is going to be well cooked. Uh, you could easily roast it, but let me show you something. Oh, hold on to your hats. Come really close. I want oh. to show you that. This is a Romanesco. Have you ever seen a Romanesco? I've I've seen it, but no, I've never uh, learned or used it in cooking at all. Yeah, Romanesco uh, actually originated in the 15th century in Lazio, uh, Italy. Uh, in fact, that's where we get the name. The capital city of Lazio uh, is, of course, Rome, Roman Esco. So that's where we get this. Uh, and this is one of the, if you're a mathematician, you love this thing. It's the Fibonacci rule. Uh, it, it's, it, these are all fractals. A fractal basically is the same visual or statistical characteristic of the whole. So you have the whole cauliflower head and then you have these little ones, right? Yeah. And the little ones go into a little one and the little one goes into a smaller one and they're all the same, right? Yeah. It's called fractals. Wow. It's very, very cool. Uh, I'm going to cut this in half. I want to actually show you what it looks like right in the middle. Uh, you, did you ever go, did you go see uh, uh, Star Wars? I have, yes. Star oh, Wars. Look at that. Yeah, The Force Awakens. The Force Awakens. <laughs> Remember that? With Ray? Yes. Uh, she had a, a scene wow. uh, when she was in Mazas uh, where she had this in uh, in a cup of a gala apple. Mm. Uh, and it was actually this Romanesco that she very had. Cool. Romanesco. And uh, very, very cool. So one of the easiest things to do, put cauliflower yes, awesome. on a sheet pan and roast it. Thank you, Michael so Markson. And, and a happy belated happy birthday. Happy belated birthday. Happy belated birthday to you. Thank hey, you so much. Thank you. All right. All right, have a good one there. And if you'd like to be Michael Marks for your Halloween yep. costume, you can head him up and get some good tips <laughs> as well. All right, Ashley, back to you. All right, Jay, thank you. All right, spooky season isn't complete without some ghostly decorations. Up next,